This is our starter for the south. Um, is in fact a starter. Uh, I don't have much to say about it in this matchup. Yeah, I don't really know, honestly. I would, my gut would tell me it benefits Cogmore, but we'll see how it goes. I think the scary thing here is like, I think it's gonna be more painful for Mutual to kill Rufon. And we've seen earlier, you know, Rufon very good at killing even against a heavy character. But I think, oh, I was just barely able to roll away in time. That felt like frame perfect or something. Yeah, this. I almost feel like uh, Meech is a bit too dependent on the forward smashes to get kills. It's a it's a decent smash deck if you can like space it right. But I think just being able to like do Dakus more consistently or just having other ways. Some, some like good Dakuses against the uh, plus switch earlier. Mm -hmm. But there is like I said, there's been a lot of run and forge on tonight. I think the thing that like I don't want to like do predictions, but it's like I think uh, Meech will do much better against uh, Rufon than than uh, Big or Small did because Meech is just more patient. Meech is willing to just uh, hang out, like do parries and like throw needles and go for like yeah. short little like really good confirms, whereas uh, Big or Small is like trying to go for a lot of like crazy stuff. And even then, something. Like I guess one doesn't really have the, the kill terms to make it work out. Mm -hmm. Something I will say that's awkward about this matchup is the fact of, uh, like, the way Crag's gravity works versus the way Rano likes to kill. Because earlier I said Rano likes to kill off the top, but Crag is a character who, uh, dies super late off the top. One thing I really would like to see right there from Mutual is trying to, like, honestly, like, I think it would have been really sick to fair spike the rock. Mm -hmm. Uh, just get rid of that pillar. Oh no! Oh. Probably didn't know he had the wall jump. Yeah, Rufon just really good with uh. Rufon is just really good with the funny things about Crag. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here, just. Because that's not something you see every day. That's not something you see from like mid level Crags or like many high level Crags. Like, just the ability to just cheese someone like that. I know we're like playing at a very low level where there's like some players may be more susceptible to like stuff like that, but it's also like the guy has to at least know what they're doing. Yeah, because like, like as the Rana there, you gotta like position yourself in such a way where the um not the box is gonna hit rock before your heart box does. Yeah, I will say the gotta, like, just the way back. the way that like Rufon has been like just being able to cheese people out. Pretty cringe on her opponent's part, not gonna lie. It's, it's a little cringe, but at some point you'll learn the cheese. Shoot. Yeah, Rufon just... She's showing off one of my core principles of rivals. It doesn't matter how much someone is kicking your ass as long as you can kill them earlier than they can kill you. Slow and steady wins the race. Because you saw that. Yeah. Mitch was like kicking her ass in neutral for most of the game, getting her to extremely high percent. Just could not kill her. And Mitch was like because he couldn't kill her was getting chipped away for the re for like the rest of the match until uh until Rufon landed one of her like very consistent kill confirms or kill setups and that's so much more important. Yeah. And once again we're seeing Abyss and I am questioning it. Cause I know I've been saying I'll stream like the Rano stage. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely a better crack stage. <laughs> I, I think most of most of people I've heard about will say Kag does way better here than at least in this matchup than Rana does. And it was mutual to pick it. Mm -hmm. But we'll see, we'll see. I, I can't Ooh. I don't want to count Mutual out. But I do think this is very mm. questionable. I very mean, nice. He's trying really hard to shut me up right now, though. Already, just destroying. Making you eat your words. Seriously. Make you eat those words. 
I don't know what that was, but mm. big forehead kick. Yeah, I gotta be ready for that, because a lot of crags will just land in fair at like every opportunity. Or like delay landing fair. You know, I, I will say like even though this is like in theory a better crag stage than it is like a Ronald stage, just with the way that Meech has been like domineering neutral in the, like the set, it, it makes a lot of sense that you'd pick it because it just makes your neutral better. I think the one potential like scary thing here is that a uh, Rana needs a class for recovering like more than Crack does. Yeah. But we'll see how that pans out. Again, so far, Peach is still in the lead. <laughs> so here's here's a kill setup like from the books of a Rana player. If you're the Rana player and the Krag is about to uh, pillar into the wall right there, if you just jump off stage and uh, try and use your tongue at them, because tongue is a grab, they can't tech it, so it does become a punish. I don't know like exactly how practical it is. I just know it's like an option that I've seen like some of my Rana players, player friends use. The watermelon fist. Let's see if what I said earlier is true, because again, Rufan is kind of getting, kind of getting messed up a bit in neutral with these needles and like the short little confirmed combos. But just her ability to stay cool under like the pressure of being at high percent and just dying the kill moves well. That would have done it. Top smash. Uh oh. Dickers. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Unfortunate. Yeah, you can't miss enemy stocks like that. That really sucks. I don't know. Ah, yeah, it's unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Micho's only got one more shot here. I think a better recovery to do in that situation would have been the uh, Kung slinging off the bubble. But that also does just take a lot of time. And wow, he's trying it again. Skin count effect. To be mm -hmm. fair, that was very close, so we'll see what happens. I agree, Jazz. What are the stage picks tonight? I think it is really funny that you have one winged angel over. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's oh, well. no. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh. Yeah, unfortunate SP from Rufan. Just... Yeah, that's uh. This one's kind of rough, just the two SDs. <laughs> Granted, it's still, do it's still doable, don't get me wrong, but just like, with the way stocks have been trading each other, like in this set, unless. Unless Meech, like, dies right now, I think Meech has this game in the bag. You definitely feel that way, yeah, it's, it's a really big lead. Mm. I'm wondering, like. I'm just feeling a little bit shaky right now, but I'm gonna be able to swing back harder next game. Yeah, and I just say that purely by like the rhythm of like the other games in the set where it goes exactly like this. We find that very high percent Meech, like dominating neutral at low percent, unable to like secure the kill and then just like um Me Meech dying first. So he's probably gonna lose another stock and then uh and then just revenge killing Rufon. And so, eye. like so, and revenge kill soon. 
Question mark. Oh. Oh, why would you parry there? That was, that was a fat fall. Maybe you're trying to anticipate the, uh, the side B. And yep, revenge kill. These stage picks have been pretty cringe, not gonna lie. Just a tad, yeah. Okay, now we're, we're talking a little bit more. Alright. Frozen Fortress. Fortress. Hell yeah. So, this is kind of interesting. I'm thinking this is a really good stage for Kag. It's also pretty solid for Ano, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's definitely going to be better for Kag. Um, I'm curious what kind of cheat you going to be able to go for on a stage like this with a certain class. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But Nicho oh, cheating no. himself to start out here. <laughs> what are you eating a bit too much cheese? Cheese frog. That, that wasn't that was an acceptable down smash. I I usually like I'm like say, alright guys, just uh when you get a parry, don't always do smash attack. Especially if it's like at middle length percent. But honestly, you have a stock lead. It sounds a message. Before all you know they could die. Run off there, and now suddenly big reversal from last game. Groupon just taking the super strong lead early on. So the thing that's hard to give like valid, uh, like bear, like more complex, I should say, like advice for both of these players, because like we we would just like talk about like big stuff, like oh hey shift. You should like learn to tech timing on this or like better DI this. The reason that is because both these players have very simple playstyles but very solid playstyles. Right. They, they could do the like very quintessential things that the characters do. And they do them well. So it's hard to tell them how to do it better. Right cancel. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. They just do the <laughs> They do the quintessential stuff. They do the they do the good stuff. I don't know what the point of break canceling right there is, but it's very funny. It shows off you know what you're doing. This is fair. Weird flex, but okay. Bag lady. Interesting little string right there. But sliding off the platform. Yeah, even with that like kind of shoddy DI. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that could have been death. There's so oh. much fear going on here. <laughs> Even with the bad guy from Rufon, like he's just kinda living. So yeah, uh, I've I think like and haven't but... Meech, like Meech just hasn't really gotten to get Rufon like off stage in a bad spot. It, it can be really awkward uh -huh. to guard crag. But like I think sometimes you just gotta get like aggressive with it. Very Not nice. like that. I mean Rufon got attacked mm. out of course, but I won't lie, nice. I have no idea what Rana does about pillar. Mm -hmm. That Ooh, was so not... smart. Nice hip hitbox extension off the rock. Yeah, that was a good catch there from Rufon. Um good stuff all around. Hungry and pissed. Sounds like a combination. You lose when people stop getting hit by up strong. Well, sounds like you're gonna be winning for a while. Up, up strong is like just it's, it's big. It's ginormous. <laughs> I'm so tired. 